on to the next video um, regarding basic, mic basic mixer functions. Okay, um, in the last video I explained um, all this kind of stuff and these bits and bobs. Um, we'll kind of look at these sections now. Um, mute, solo, um, basically do exactly what they say on the tin. Um, if I solo the bass, all we'll hear is the bass. If I now, if I was to solo this one now, I'll hear the kick. Okay, um, if I want to turn all the solos off, I can use this section over here. If I want to, if I want to mute stuff, just use the mute button. If I want to unmute again. Um, and again, if there's multiple mutes on, you can unmute them all over here. Same if you've got multiple solos. You can unsolo them here. Um, the listen is for the control room. It sends the signal to the control room. That will be explained in a later video. Um, R and W, read and write. That's to do with automation. Again, that will be explained in a later video. Um, these three buttons here are inserts, EQ, and sends. These are all bypass buttons. Um, this button here will bring up the VST instrument that's assigned to that channel. So if I do that, there we go. And again, you've got the monitor button and the record enable button, as I showed you in an earlier video on here. So if we click the E button, I'll show you ways that you can edit certain things. So um, the E button is pretty much just the channel setting, uh, the edit the channel settings. So again, in here, um, we have the channel here. Also, just so that you're aware, we've also got the channel information here. So we've got the inserts, EQ, sends, etc. here as well. Um, but again, I'll go into that in more detail in another video. So here we have um, the channel settings here. So again, it's exactly the same as what's on the mixer. Um, you can navigate to other channels here as well. If you click on that, you can go to any other channel that you have open. You can also use the left and right keys on your keyboard. Um, here is where you would add your inserts. So if I left click there, I can add any one of any inserts that I may have. Also, you can deal with your sends here. If you want to send to a headphone mix or whatever, again, I'll be explained in a later video. Um, here we have the Cubase built-in EQ, and it's got four settings. You can turn them all on by doing this. You can then move these individually. Do whatever you like. Up here, you have the Enable button. So that shows um, what's actually on at the moment. If you do that, this little button here bypasses the EQ. This one here, you've got several different settings. So that's for a bass. So let me just, if also, if you click on this, there should be a reset in here somewhere. Reset, reset, reset. There it's there. And it resets everything to norm. So if I solo the bass, I'll just go here. I'll show you the EQ is working. So if I want to cut all the high end off, I want to increase some of the mid range, I want to cut off the bass, or increase the bass. Now you've also got different settings here as well. So um, you've got the EQ band gain. So as you can see, one's pretty much on the line. Now I can change it here. Can double click and type in how much I want it to gain. Um, here you've got the um, the frequency of the first band, which you can change like this. You see the one moving up and down there. Again, you can type in. And here 
you have the EQ band type. There are several to choose from. At the moment, it's set to low shelf one, so that's why it's kind of EQing like that. If I set it to say parametric one, again, it's a different setting. And I can also make the actual band itself wider or narrower by grabbing this. See what's happening to one? That's a narrow band. Great for cutting out specific frequencies. So say I wanted to cut out 100 hertz. There we go. That's it really wide. That's it really thin. We can change again. High pass. Low shelf. And different settings. And you can do the same with all of these. You can also, here, install presets. Bass boost. You can reverse it. And again, if you want to turn it off, you can click on that button. And come in here, hit reset. That's it. Um... That's pretty much basic, um, all the stuff I'm going to show you in the basic mixer in a minute, that's everything you need. You know your inserts, so if you want to add, say I want to add a little bit of distortion to that bass. And then maybe a little bit of delay. That should give you enough to get you started on basic mixing anyway. Um, I will get into this a lot more in depth later on. Um, but for the time being, that's all you need to know. Um, I hope this was useful for you. And um, happy mixing.